A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahadukah Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God, the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, the ones who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Akwat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is going to be, You have to be well rooted, agents and enchantment a lot. So as you just heard, the, the, the devils that are in power, the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man that's in power, the ruling class, the banking families, they're, they're preparing a whole lot to keep you away from salvation but you see most of our people they're carried away by the multitude of the enchantments and sorceries that have been thrown on them so this man as you see he's been looking for different ways to accuse us and what i noticed as well apart from that apart from the agent provocateurs and you know the shooting that went on in um, new york um the looting and all that thing has been trying to do this for a long time but in these last days, there is something I personally noted that in some videos that I do, there are certain individuals that pop out and they come on the, on the, on the, on the comment section. They write some things to, to take away that seed that's being planted into the heart of those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Now, those who are not rooted, those who are not well rooted, they're going to just read that and discredit the truth that's been taught to them. Discredit the seed that's been planted into their heart, you know. So you see, you really have to pay attention in these last days. As a matter of fact, Yahweh Shai said it. If it were possible, even, even um, just roughly paraphrasing, he said, if it were possible, even the, the chosen ones were, were, would not make it, man, you know. Let me see if I can find that scripture if it were possible. Let me see if it's... Khan, this is the book of Matthew 24, 24. It says, For there shall rise false, false amashiach and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? So, you see, if it were possible, they would deceive even the very elect. So, you have to pay attention. Because we can see there is a heavy spirit that's moving with this Hebrew Israelite camps. You know, in which we found out the Most High has exposed them. That the only camp that's teaching the truth 100% is Great Millstone. The rest of these camps... They, they are either paid out or they're just doing their own thing, you know. They don't really care about the truth. You see, what they've been doing is they've been sowing different kinds of seeds of, of, of doubts about the truth. They've been sowing different kinds of, of seeds that are very, very dangerous, you know, that can take you out of the truth totally, you know. So as I was saying, you know, some people come on my comments, they drop some comments like the other day, someone came on my comments and it was, we were going back and forth about, um, about salvation being opened for only the Israelites. You know, it was coming back and forth, bringing scriptures. And I, I was also going to scriptures. And that's why I actually went uh, through the week and did various lessons on the topic. So I told him I was going to do a lesson with his comments. You know, but the thing that I didn't do was I didn't take snaps of those comments. And he took out the comments, you know, he just disappeared. Now, today again, on a new video that I did yesterday, he, he appeared again just to sow 
a, a comment of doubt on those who are coming. And the Spirit just told me that this is an agent, man, and he's doing his duty. His duty is that of, you know, coming, sowing, you know, something to just... Someone who, who comes and watch the video, once he sees that comment, the person just, you know, just leaves, you know. So I took the comments down. So you have to pay attention. That's why you really have to be well grounded in this truth. Let me play this video. Okay. And I'll start up with the lesson. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When people hear the message about the kingdom and do not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their hearts. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to people who hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to people who hear the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to people who hear the word and understand it. They produce a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Isn't it? So as you see, that's the parable right there in the book of um is it Matthew the thirteenth chapter? And it's a beautiful parable, you know, it shows you a lot about different different people and how they react to the truth you know there are certain people who receive this truth they're happy about it but you know those those seeds they they fall on on on, on stone on stony ground you know then <laughs> they take it and they just believe what's what's being said and they just let it go like that then the devil comes and he takes away the seed some fall on rocky grounds, they, they, they go, they, they, they bear roots on stones, you know, they, they bear roots a little bit. But, you know, those roots are not really grounded into, into the ground. And when the sun comes, it, it burns them up, you know. And some, those seeds, they fall amongst thorns, which are the problems of life and all different kinds of things, you know. So when these problems, they come, they choke the seed out. Uh, and, and the right seed is the one that falls on the fertile ground and, you know, it grows and, and, and yields fruit, fruits, man. That's why the elder apostles, they always tell us that we have to grow in this thing of ours, man. You have to grow because when, when you teach these lessons, when the elder apostle Taha made, um, he made a decree, was it last year, you know, he said um, everyone should make sure he makes a video every day, you know. And this was through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because this thing has, it has, it has helped me rather than any other person, man. It has made me grow in this truth because while you teach other people, you learn, you learn. Because before we put together these lessons, we study, you know. So that's one way you can, you're, you're yielding fruits and that's one way you can remain rooted in this truth. You know, because these last days, man, these devils are waging not only physical war, they're waging a spiritual war. That's why we're told in the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, that the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, man. We wrestle against um, principalities and powers in high places. These people do all different kinds of sorceries, you know, they, they have meetings, they, they watch our videos, they're looking for ways to stop this truth from spreading, you know. Because this truth is the only thing that's going to make you, you know, refuse what's about to come, which is the MOTB that we've been teaching of. That thing that looks like a grain of, grain of rice that's going to be inserted under your skin without that thing you can't buy or sell. That's being spoken of in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 16th verse. You know, it's this truth that is going to keep you going in those days where all hell is going to break loose. So they don't want such people. They want people who are gullible, people who are who are obedient, okay? They want sheeps that don't think. But Kalala Yahabashim Yahushai, he has taken us out of the world and he has given us this knowledge, not, 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 not because of we merit it or anything, but because he has chosen us right from the beginning to inherit this truth, you know? This truth is, it shall be the stability of thy time, you know? So you really need to be careful because there are lots of agents, you know, 
and Esau is pulling out all different kinds of enchantments as written in the book of um, um, is it Isaiah um, Isaiah 47 Can this is the book of Isaiah 47 the top verse it says stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth if so be thou if so be thou shalt be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail but he cannot prevail man you know he is standing with the multitude of his enchantments this so-called white man that's in power you know they are studying every move you know to 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 they, like i posted a video in this week you know they just took down the video and they gave me a strike you know that's on the second channel the gms um italia 2 you know they gave me a strike and they're doing all different kinds of things to make sure that this truth don't get out there and now this is for you that you're coming into this truth you're new into this truth stay strong in this truth man you know be rooted in this truth just like um the book of revelation the third chapter it says old can this is the book of revelation 3 11 it says behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown you know hold what you have because there are lots of people sowing seeds of of um what do you call it um of doubts in this hebrew israelite thing you have agents like like haman um aman malone vocab malone clown malone you know out there you know he has new recruits and they're all around different pages with um different kinds of avatars you know commenting on videos and trying to sow seeds of doubts into people's hearts you know, the Most High Yahweh Shemi Oshai has already prophesied of these things that they, they must surely come. So now it's 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 your duty to hold strong, to grow in this truth. Just like let's get some scriptures on growing in this truth. This is the book of Second Peter. Three, eighteen. It says. But growing grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shem Shai and Savior Amashiach Yahweh Shai, to Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. You know, you have to grow in this thing. You know, this is the period of grace that we have because seeing that we can't we can't put into practice all the commandments perfectly. You know, but that which we can put into practice to the best of our ability, we put them into practice. But now this grace doesn't doesn't mean that we just have to sit back and believe everything is fine and good. Just like the Christians teach you, you know, they tell you just believe in your heart and you're good to go. No, that's a wicked doctrine, man. You have to walk, man. You have to walk in this truth. You have to grow every day, make a step every day closer to your Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, because this truth, as, as said in the book of um. Isaiah is it 20, 29th verse it says it shall be the stability of thy time, you know, because when all hell break loose, all this time that you've you've spent more in the truth, growing in this truth, that's going to determine, you know, how strong you're going to stand in the days to come. But remember, everything is drawn, done through the power and, and will of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai because there is no free will. So you need to you need to be careful. There are agents, there are different kinds of enchantments, you know, they, 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 they have their, their crisis actors, you know, acting some mad things, you know, telling you about the shooting in which I watched that video. There, everything is just questionable in that thing, man. You know, Esau is looking for 360 degree any way to sow a seed of doubt in your heart to, to, to make you depart from this truth that has come to you, you know. Now... This is the book of um um Khan. That's the book of Matthew that says you should um five and six. It says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. You know, you have to thirst and hunger for righteousness. That's why the elder apostle Taha said, 
through the spirit that we should make sure we make a video every day you know and those of you if that's not giving to you to make videos you know you watch videos and you learn man you learn every day you make sure you don't depart from what you have you know the devil is right there ready to let me see this is the book of um first peter chapter 5 verse 8 it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour so you see the devil now if you go into this devil it means slanderer man diabolos it says a false accuser a slanderer it says a metaphor applied to a man who by opposing the cause of the most high may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him and that's exactly what the so-called white man that's in power is doing. He is the devil. He's the physical counterpart of the devil. You know? But you see, the Christian, the Christian, the Christian church, Christianity in itself is, is a very, very busted wine, you know, that tells you, oh, don't worry, everything is okay. They, they, they just they, they don't keep you, they don't keep you vigilant, man. Now we're telling you that there is there is danger ahead, and this is what the danger is. You know, it's left to you to, to receive what we're telling you, yes or no, you know. Because truly, no one can save anyone, you know. The truth we teach is it cannot save, cannot save you. It's the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that saves. So you see, these devils are not taking any day off. So why should you be taking any day off in learning and growing in this truth? Let me bring out that scripture, you know, I just need to read it. It's in Isaiah, I believe. Isaiah 33, 6 verse, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is his treasure, man. You know? Now, let's go into the word stability. You know, it says, Amana. It says, literally, firmness, faith. You see? Steady. Steady in the truth, man. Firmness, fidelity, steadfastness, steadily, steadiness. Let me see the word um, steadfastness. Look up. It says the quality of being resolutely or dutifully firm and unwavering, man. You know? This truth that's been given to us by, by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai through His men. Starting from the elder post to Taha of the Great Millstone, it's going to be your your your, your the stability of that time, man. You know, it's going to keep you firm. It's going to keep you unwavering, man. You know. So you should stick to the truth, man. You know, stick to this thing because there are lots of enchantments out there, a lot of wickedness that these devils are preparing. So the more you're looking at the videos from the elders, the apostles, from the brothers, the more you're going to see comments. That are going to sow seeds of doubt in you. But be grounded. That's why I tell you. Seek the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai now. While he's still available to be found. You know. This is the time you should seek him. Because these people are uh, they, they, they're up to their agenda. Making all moves to make sure that they, 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 they keep us shut from, from, from YouTube. You know. And that's coming man. Because this truth cannot stand with their new world agenda. And they're not going to succeed in this new world agenda that they're doing, you know. They only get that far. But all hell must break loose according to the prophecies, you know. So, this has been, you have to be well-rooted. Agents and enchantments a lot, you know. So, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I actually have many more precepts. But I want to keep it short. And hopefully the message has been passed. And I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahadukah Kudash. On to the next one. Shalom.